Hello folks, it is the 31st of May. It's a very pleasant evening after days of torrential rain. <laughs> but, oh, it's nice. So nice to have the sun. Just to bring you up to speed with what I'm doing here with my little kiln, I've done some further modifications. Um, and so let's just check it out. <clears throat> we'll make it, make it a short clip, but just to tell you a few things about it. Let's just check the temperature. What's that say? 2087. We've been reducing now for about 20 minutes. Temperature is is climbing. So what did I do with this kiln to improve it? It is now improving, improved a lot. Um, basically I, I opened out that hole there, the, the orifice where the as you see the burner is pulled pulled back somewhat and we've with a file I have filed that open. I also down in the bottom of the the chimney flue at the very very bottom where the slot is you remember that the the slot that very arched gentle arch slot I had in there some little pieces of um, in fact I'll show them to you because they're here. These little pieces of brick which I had put basically at the bottom of that at the bottom of that uh, chimney like that the idea was to deflect the flame up but in fact I think what they were doing was they were were partially choking the the flame right at the very at the very bottom there so I decided to remove them all together and basically those are the two changes that I've done um, I'm definitely noting let's see it's a bit difficult to see the reduction flame because it's not it's not quite dark enough, but if it was dark, I can see I can see the flame up to about here. You may not see it. So we're we're nicely in reduction. And what was the temperature a moment ago? 2087. What is it now? So you can see there's been uh, almost 10 degree rise in temperature just in the the time that we've been talking and maybe it's going to go over 2100 in a second it always fluctuates backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and then it may I bet it's going to go up to 21 now come on come on up to 21 next time it's this time it goes backwards and forwards come on up there it's 21 <laughs> yeah it'll go anyway yeah there it is you see so it's on the in increase now you will see that I put these little bricks here so I can lessen the reduction just by opening that brick a touch you see it's very sensitive so when I lessen the reduction I get more of a, an increase in temperature um, yeah, so seems to be working twenty one oh three. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you up to date with that. As far as gas is concerned, I just put on a new a new bottle. I just refilled this this morning up at Henry's, Henry's small engine, and it cost me $22 to refill that bottle. 
Now, the kiln so far, and we have to say it's been running inefficiently up until now, I've managed to get out of one, that bottle there, I had two glaze firings, and I got this kiln up to the point of reduction before I decided it's still got some gas in it, it's still got some gas in there, but I decided to to switch over to this one, now I wanted to start re reduction. Um, I don't know if you can see there's a, the, there is a flame there. So that's ra basically, I think, you see, to be fair, if the kiln was firing efficiently like it is now, I think I'm going to get three glaze firings out of one of those. So you divide 22 by 3, what does that give you? Three, seven, three sevens of 21. So it's about $7.30 to fire the kiln in terms of gas. Uh, yeah, so I think I've sort of hit the sweet spot now between temperature rise and getting the reduction that I want, which is um, which is what I was aiming at. What were we reading before? I can't remember. Twenty-one. You see, it's it's re it, it is rising quite. That, that, that tells me that I've got the, the flame pathways inside the kiln, the flame aerodynamics. I've just hit the sweet spot so I can get reduction and temperature rise both together. And that's, what, that's the aim, that's what we want. You don't want to have it so it's lopsided one or the other, you see. Okay folks, well thanks for joining us here. We have a workshop here tomorrow, we have six people coming and so we look forward to that and doing some practicing in the studio we'll be opening the kiln in the morning uh, with the students this is now yes the third firing of this kiln so I've we had a firing on the 15th we had a firing on the 22nd and we had a fire we have a firing today so yeah uh, it's that's what's nice about this kiln it's it doesn't hold a lot but it's 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 quick to, it's quick to fill and it's re relatively quick to fire. Um, kiln log. Kiln log. Star date. 2019, May 31st. We are approaching a new galaxy. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it from, from me. I'll talk to you later. Keep practicing. Come and join us for a workshop. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.